Hi YouTube, my name is Nick. I'm the guy behind the Growing Back to Eden uh, Instagram account. Um, I'm starting this channel because right now I've got an incredible opportunity and I feel it'd be kind of like, uh, like greedy not to share it with you all. So I'm living with Paul Galchi. I live here at the farm. I help him take care of the garden and orchard and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I've been a gardener pretty much my whole life. My mom used to tell me stories that like when I was really, really little, I'd go over into the neighbor's yard and I'd pick seeds out of the plants and take cuttings and then I'd plant them in our yard somewhere. So gardening's really just always been a part of my life. Like even before I knew what I was doing, I guess. Um, it just kind of happened naturally. So that was kind of always just a passion that I never let go of. And just like my garden, I grew that passion. And here I am today working alongside one of the greatest gardeners I can think of. And uh, I'm loving every minute of it. So let me tell you how I got into Back to Eden gardening. Um, so for the last, I don't know, six, seven years, I don't even know, I've been using wood chips in the garden. And my dad actually was always telling me, it was like, no one uses wood chips in the garden. Like, that's just dumb. Like, no one does that. And being the type of person I am, I set out to prove him wrong and I did just that when I came across the Back to Eden film and that was probably like five years ago now and uh, I became pretty obsessed with it because one I loved Paul he's like incredible and two him and I are pretty much the same when it comes to how we garden like we both like perfectly straight rows no weeds everything's nice and clean like that's just how I am in the garden and that's what I loved seeing in his garden so I became kind of obsessed with it and I was watching so many videos on YouTube about back to eating gardening and just watching all these different people and their experiences and I noticed a theme of people that really just didn't understand it and how simple it was they were just getting confused by it for some reason and uh, a lot of people were starting to talk negatively about it and saying, oh, it's just some, like, like hoax or fad garden or something, whatever. And that's why I was like, okay, I've got to do something about this. I've either got to further explain it or I've just got to start calling people out. And I'm not the type to just call people out. Well, maybe not all the time or publicly at least. Um, so at the time, and actually still now, I'm like the most computer illiterate person. Like I know nothing about computers and technology and stuff like that. So starting a YouTube channel was kind of just like, just that wasn't even an option for me because I had no idea what I'd how I'd start. So I was like, okay, I was thinking about it. I was like, what can I do that would be easy? And then I came across Instagram. And at the time, I was actually really, like, against social media. I just thought it was really stupid. But anyways, I got on Instagram, started my page, Growing Back to Eden. And that took off. That was only three or four years ago now. And um, through that page, I've helped further explain the method. I've helped all sorts of people with their gardens all over the world and um yeah I just I love it it's great like social media if it's used on the proper way as a teaching platform I think it's great any other time I think it's still stupid but uh yeah so I started that Instagram page and then three years goes by I wrote Paul a letter told him about all the stuff I was doing and then he called me and I wasn't expecting him to call me back. And uh, 
I was actually fishing on the beach that day when he called and I like jumped out of my chair, flicked sand everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, Paul Gauchy's calling me. I felt like a teenage girl having like Justin Bieber call them or something. It was pretty ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I was really excited. And uh, he called, I was talking to him. He was saying he loved what I was doing. And I was just like, really like, wow. And um, after that call, I was like, okay, I've got to book a trip, fly out to Washington, and meet him in person and see his garden firsthand. So I don't think it was a month, maybe two months goes by. I saved up the money, booked a ticket, and I flew out here. I was only here for two days. Um, I went camping with my buddy, and then he drove me out here to Squim, where I met Paul. And then uh, Paul and Carol, his wife, said, oh, you should spend the night tonight before you have to fly home tomorrow. So, of course, I did. And that was incredible. And uh, I fell in love with Washington before my plane landed here. Like, I knew that this was where I was meant to be. And when I got home, I was like kind of depressed and like every other word that came out of my mouth was Washington this, Washington that, Paul Gauchy this, Paul Gauchy that. And uh, I just couldn't, like, I didn't like being back home. I'm from Maryland, by the way, Ocean City, Maryland, right on the coast. And uh, yeah, so I just had to come back. So then this past summer in July, I flew back out here. I was here for two weeks. I stayed with Paul for a week, and then I went camping with the same buddy for another week. And then um, I flew home. And then, let's see, July, August, September. So it wasn't even two months, maybe two months. Cause, yeah, two months. Because I f flew, or no, I drove back out here because I moved. And um, I drove across the country, brought all my stuff. At the time I had a pet peacock. His name was Reggie. You guys on Instagram that follow me, you remember Reggie. Um, he passed away, actually. But he drove across the country with me. He handled the ride better than I did. And uh, we made it here. And, uh, yeah, so now I just want to bring you guys along and share this awesome opportunity with you all because no one's ever had this opportunity. So I hope you can put up with my uh, lack of on-camera skills and my lack of editing and lack of techie stuff and I uh, hope you enjoy the garden. Me and Paul are really excited, or Paul and I are really excited about this year. I actually got sponsored by Baker Creek so we can get all the seeds we need. We're gonna plant the entire orchard this summer. Like, he's so excited about that. He's telling everybody, oh, it's gonna be like no other year. So, we're stoked. Oh, and I'm actually looking at my chicken tractors. I just built some chicken tractors, kind of like Joel Salatin's, but I kind of came up with my own plans on this one. And um, I'm going to pull them through the pasture out here with a sheep and um, raise a bunch of meat chickens. Uh, it'll just be a fun, like, it's going to be a fun year. So... Hopefully we'll see some of you guys out here for his tours, which are every Sunday from June through September. The first tour starts on June 2nd, I think. Uh, I might have to double check that. I'm pretty sure it's the second. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. I sure will. So thanks. Peace. <laughs>